Number 65. Find the distance along an arc on the surface of Earth that subtends a central angle of five minutes, and they tell us that one minute is equal to one sixtieth of a degree. The radius of Earth is 3,960 miles. All right, so first thing is just draw a little circle that represents, you know, the surface of the Earth. It also tells us the radius of Earth, and that was 3,960 miles. So 3,960 miles. Okay? And maybe what I'll do to make this a little cleaner, let's see if I can move this on out. Actually, I'm just going to erase it. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. So let's write it over here. This is going to be 3,960 miles. All right. Now we want to find the arc length, okay, of some subtending angle, right, of five minutes, okay? So first of all, how many degrees is five minutes, right? This is a relation. You, you can set up a, set up a simple proportion. If one minute equals one sixtieth of a degree, then five minutes must equal x degrees, right? Notice how the minutes would uh, cancel out and the degrees would cancel out. So literally you're left with this math. Erase it, erase it, erase it, and erase it. So one-fifth equals one-sixtieth over x. Now watch this neat little trick. If I want to solve this for x, i got to get it into the numerator. You're going to cross multiply. Literally all you're going to do is move. You're allowed to move things across the equal sign. Okay, let's put the equal sign right in the middle. You're allowed to move it diagonally. Okay, not horizontally, but diagonally. So I'm going to take the 5, move it on out, into the numerator up at top becomes multiplied. Then I'm going to take the x, move it on out, but it's a 1 up there, so who really cares? Get rid of it. So x is equal to now 160, excuse me, 1 divided by 60, 1 60th of 5. Take out your calculator, do 1 divided by 60, times it by 5. And there it is, if you want it in decimal form, okay? We'll erase this little line, make that a little neater, and here we go. So x is going to be equal to 0 0.083 repeating. All right, and this is now in terms of degrees. That's what we just found. It's a very small angle. Now, to make this look, you know, decent, I'm going to make the angle, this is not the scale, okay? But pretend that the angle in here now is going to be this fraction of a degree, or 6, you know, 5 over 60. If you wanted to, you know, reduce that on down, it'd be 1 12th, okay? But it doesn't really make a difference. So there's going to be 0 0.083. That's the degree. Okay, just keep that in mind. I'm going to erase it. Actually, now I'll leave it there. Now, what I want to do is this. I want to find this arc length here. Okay, that's what I want to find. Oh, can I grab it? Yes, I can. Cool. Okay, that's the arc length I'm trying to find there. Okay, right here. This is the arc length. How do I find it? Well, you can set up another proportion, actually, thinking about the circumference. Okay, if you know that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r, and you also know that, remember, the circumference is the whole length of the entire outer edge of the circle, but you don't have a whole entire edge, you only have a little fraction, right? Well, what fraction do you have? Well, if you know that there are 360 degrees in a full circle, and you know you're dealing with 0 0.083 of those degrees, you can find the fraction, okay? Basically, all you need to do here, in terms of manipulating this formula now, you can write it like this. Arc length, you can call it just arc, okay, is equal to 2 pi times the radius divided by 360, and then multiplied by whatever your degrees are. So I'll say multiplied by... DEG for degree. And that you can use as your formula all day long. As long as you know the degrees and as long as you know the radius. And that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. So your arc length here will be 2 pi multiplied by the radius of 3,960 miles divided by then 360 times then your degrees of 0 0.083. Whatever the degrees of the angle that it was subtended by don't even know if I'm really using that right. I just love the word subtended, right? Subtended. Anyway, um, I'm getting distracted. 
Now, if you'd like, punch this all into the calculator. You can include pi if you want. If you need the exact answer, then you would just plug in all the numeric values in the calculator and then just put a little pi at the end. In other words, you get your number, just put a pi next to it, and that would be the end. Okay, but I'm going to calculate it with pi. So ready? Two. Let's do it. Two times now second pi. All right, times then 3,960. And then divide that. You can if you want at this point. It doesn't really matter. 36, uh, 3,600. And then multiply it by the 0 0.083. I want this exact answer, though. So I'm going to hit second answer. What that does is it pulls my answer from the top and plugs it in. Okay? And there it is. So my arc length now is going to be 5.76, roughly. You just stop there. You can round it there if you want. Um, remember, this is not the exact answer, uh, but that's fine. <clears throat> and uh, the units are miles. The reason being is because the only unit that really matters in this calculation is going to be your radius, whatever the unit the radius is in. Okay. Um, you know, you might say, well, what about the degrees? Wasn't degree in there too? Yes, there was, but this was 360 degrees. And then this was 0 0.083 degrees. And therefore the degrees would have canceled because one's in the numerator and one's in the denominator. There, that's all you have. All you have to it. There it is. All right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, I told you how to find that exact answer if you want. Just leave it in terms of pi and uh, you're good to go. Thanks so much for watching. All right. If you wouldn't mind, just like the video. It's free. Take care.